What's going on guys? Welcome back to your pre-market watch list here today. Uh, sorry I haven't been on the past couple days, been you know sort of busy here. Uh, but we're gonna get rocking and rolling on today's watch list, get you guys up to speed on a couple things that are moving. So one of which we could talk about is this stock uh, IPOE. This is social cap, hedo, sophia, I don't even know, but it's social cap, IPOE. Um, it appears that they're gonna merge uh, with um, SoFi, which obviously you guys know is like a banking company, online banking company maybe. Um, so anyways, stock went from 12 all the way to a high of 22 yesterday on this news that they're gonna merge with SoFi to bring SoFi to a publicly traded company on the stock market. That being said, the stock flew. So keep an eye on, uh, on IPOE today. It could see some continued momentum off of this news that we received yesterday from the stock. And if we look at the long-term charts on this, it's it's overbought, you know, but it's a recent, you know, it appears a recent IPO. So, you know, it's fairly new to the market. It could very well continue running even over some of these overbought prices because um, it's newer. So again, the deviation for it isn't, you know, I guess you could say as strong as maybe stocks that have been trading for a lot of years. So uh, anyways, right now, um, IPOE has a target of 2215 right now, and then through 2215 would be sort of the breakout move on the day. So if you you watch IPOE today, and then the stock goes up to you know about you know 2214 and ends up getting through 2214, 2215, uh, that's generally where you're going to see kind of a momentumous move happen. Okay, so on to the next one. We're going to talk about Neo. The reason we're going to talk about Neo is because everybody loves Neo. Um, so for those of you that follow my channel religiously, um, you'll remember that we said that Neo was going to pull back here around the 54s, 55s, um, and sure enough, we pulled back. We went into a big dip the other day. It got bought up. Right now, you're probably just going to want to remain long bias on Neo, even though we're going to the all-time high, and typically we don't break all-time highs on first attempts. You know, nonetheless, you should still watch Neo. It's going to go for an all-time high move. We are most likely going to try to break the all-time high here pretty soon. Um, so overall, this is kind of an awkward situation for me to give a target on because a lot of times we won't break the all-time high. We'll kind of hesitate here for a little bit. So something that I could totally see happening, um, and this is a lot of what ifs, but you know, this is the way my brain's working. You know, we could very well go to the all-time high today at 58.80. We don't break. We actually kind of hesitate and pull back. And then you can see we have this trend here. This trend is at like 55.87. You know, this will creep up today. So it's very possible today, tomorrow, we see an all-time high move of 55.80s or 58.80s. And then it pulls back and then it consolidates. It kind of hangs out, maybe bounces back off of 56. And then we break through. Um, but for the time being on the upside right now, the NEO target is actually 63. But I think we're going to kind of hesitate this all-time high for a second. But if we don't hesitate on the all-time high and we just go for a rip right through, then we're going to target 63.80. So if you're a NEO advocate, you strongly watch this stock, the two things that I would mention to you are... If we go straight through all-time highs and we're running with a lot of momentum, just anticipate that the market is going to try to push NEO to about a price of 63.80.64. If we don't go through the all-time high, we hesitate, pull back a little bit. We could pull back as low as 56, get bought up off 56, and then go through the all-time high. And then also just think of this, we could just hit the all-time high, kind of consolidate, and then it goes through. And if that happens, the longer it takes to go through the all-time high, the further the price target will be away. So if we hesitate at this all-time high for like two or three days, then the target I gave you of 64 could be 65. So just make sure to tune in uh, next couple days and we'll give you an update on NEO. All right, next one on the list that maybe um, we should consider talking about um, would be DDD. So DDD was a stock yesterday. It's like a 3D printing company stock, had a lot of momentum, really ran all the way from 11 up to 25. I think a lot of people are gonna watch this today, but I think it's gonna be a little bit confusing. I feel like it's gonna be a bearer stock in the day, and I think it's gonna have some choppier, grindy movement that you know overall is gonna be uh, slightly more confusing to deal with. And so that being said, I would be a little hesitant uh, on DDD overall. Um, just because I think it's going to be a little bit more challenging. All right. Something else we'll touch on is Apple. So Apple looks pretty good today. Uh, we just kind of pulled back towards 132. And, but overall, I think the market on Apple is pretty strong. We're bouncing good. And if you're an Apple advocate, just anticipate that 
the market's trying to push back up towards a price of 135 on Apple. And if you see 135 today or tomorrow, it's completely normal. But if in the event Apple runs all the way to 135 today, you will most likely see a rejection short play on uh, Apple at 135. So think about it, Apple today to 135, you'd be short at 135. Pretty much just take the 134 to 135 over under 20 cents or so, that's a short zone on Apple today. All right, uh, next thing that we're gonna talk about is probably just um, Riot. Um, Riot's continuing to run to the upside. Bitcoin's at like 42,000. MARA is continuing to run to the upside. Bitcoin's at 42,000. Uh, this SOL company is continuing to run to the upside. I think this has something to do with maybe Bitcoin. I'm not honestly sure, but I've just been noticing it. So um, Tesla is also you know crushing it. Um, Tesla's continued to hit all of our price targets on the upside. When Tesla was trading down at like 630, we mentioned it was probably going to 800. We made, we met 800. Now we're gonna suggest that if you follow Tesla, you're probably gonna see Tesla closer to 1,000. Um, so anticipate you will see prices of Tesla to uh, basically 963 to 940 fairly soon. It's probably gonna pull back, have some kind of confusing pullbacks along the way. But overall, right now, our next target up on Tesla is probably gonna be the $1,000 mark. Um, so really that's, um, that's kind of the watch list, uh, for us today. A couple things we're going to pay attention to is FTFT. I've traded FTFT a little bit, um, short bias made a little bit of money, traded, uh, MDG yesterday, short bias made a little bit of money. Um, so we're going to be keeping an eye on FTFT today. Um, and then the scanners just to see what populates, uh, throughout the day. So ladies and gentlemen, that is today's watch list for you. But before I go, let me give you just a quick update on um, the SPY and on the NASDAQ. So for those of you that religiously follow on the channel, we did mention to you that um, essentially we have a price target on the market. Um, our, what was our price target? It was at least 390 closer. I think maybe it was 375. Well, it's still there. 386. Yeah. So, so right now we got price targets on the markets to basically 400. So anticipate that your S and P 500 is going to run to about 390 to 400. So that's the mark on uh, the S&P 500. We've been saying it for a couple weeks now. Um, we anticipate the market's gonna go more towards 400. We're at 381 right now. Um, so for sure, probably gonna see like a 390 move um, on the S&P 500. And the same thing goes for the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ right now is slightly getting over trend is the way it appears. So we would anticipate that the NASDAQ now has a target of um, about 335, no, that's now different. The S, the NASDAQ now has a target of 343 to 347. So just anticipate markets are gonna go to 343 to 347, um, unless something crazy happens. But when they get to 343 to 347, you'd most likely wanna be hesitant on your long and a little bit more short bias probably the week of reaching 343 to 347, the 350s um, on the NASDAQ. So if the NASDAQ goes to 343 to 350, you're gonna be more, more, more bearish the day that it gets there and or that week. And then the same thing for the S&P 500. If the S&P 500 gets up to 390 to 400, um, then you're gonna wanna be more short bias the day of and or the next couple days and that week as well, okay? So with that, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you learned something new. I appreciate you guys tuning in the channel and I'll see you on the next one.